there, I'm Hawa and welcome to Boa 54 and today's video is a Q&A video also known as Ask Boa 54 to celebrate our journey throughout all 54 countries in Africa. In the last video I had asked you guys to send me questions that you may have and as promised here are my answers. But before we get into the video or the Q&A video, to our new viewers, our goal is to make weekly educational videos to celebrate a positive Africa. If this sounds like anything you would like to be a part of, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you can keep learning about Africa and you don't miss anything. Also, check out Boa 54 merch if you haven't already. We just recently added a new collection called African Pride. Do feel free to check it out as well as our other collections, Boa 54 Classics, Home Ears, and Facts. The link to the store will be in the description box below for you to check out. So let's get into some questions that you guys have. As you can see, I have my phone with me, which means I will be reading those questions from my phone. So question number one, what inspired you to start your channel? Wow. Well, but I would say that a lot of people would ask me questions about Africa and sometimes like those questions I find to be ignorance, not intentionally and some intentionally about Africa and the perception and stereotypes that have been played upon Africa. So I decided I needed to do something and in order for me to do something, I decided I was going to do a YouTube channel talking and educating people about Africa. So that was sort of my passion behind starting this YouTube channel. So I hope that answers your question. Question number two, what is the ultimate goal with your channel? So this is a really good question. And you guys are asking all the tough questions. So the ultimate goal is to paint a different story, paint a positive story for Africans, by Africans. Paint a story that we want to tell. We are in front of the storytelling and tell a story from our perspective of how things happen, not a third party perspective. Positive sides of Africa. I feel like every day on the news, you can Google anything about Africa. It's always negative. And I just want people to know that all of Africa is not negative, that there is a positive, a huge positive and a huge plus to Africa if only you would go and visit. Question number three, what is the most interesting country to you that you have profiled and why? Whew. I feel like all the countries are interesting. Some countries I didn't even know existed until we all went on this journey and we learned a lot about those countries together. I would say, what is that island country? I just did a video on Sao Tome and Principe. Um, it's an island nation. It's not Madagascar. Ah! Countries. Uh, Seychelles. Seychelles. Really interesting uh, for Seychelles to exist and it's considered an African nation and I did not know about it and it's extremely beautiful. Now, don't get me wrong, all 54 countries are beautiful, but Seychelles, though, it's on a different level as well as Mauritius because they do actually have a female president leader and Liberia. African Americans fought for the independence of Liberia. Morocco was interesting, Algeria was interesting, a lot of West African countries because <laughs> I'm from West Africa obviously were interesting. Dude, all of Africa was interesting, okay? That's all I'm gonna say to that question. So thank you for that question. Question number four. What country are you most interested in visiting and why? Dude, like, okay, I'm from Nigeria, so I've been to Nigeria. Not that I'm not interested in visiting Nigeria, it's just I've already been there, right? So my ultimate goal is to visit all 54 countries. That is the ultimate bucket list, if you're asking. However, I do would like to prioritize Seychelles in a way, because I really do want to see it. I think South Tome and Principe would be an interesting country to visit because they have a really small airport and it's a really interesting way that the planes have to land and the runway is so short just that adrenaline rush yeah i want to visit south Tome and principe hey it's a really beautiful country 
Um, I would like to visit Morocco. They have really beautiful shooks, uh, which is also known as markets. I would like to visit South Africa. I like to visit Niger because it's not too far from Nigeria, you know what I'm saying? I would like to visit Senegal. I would like to visit all countries in Africa. Question number five. What food dish are you most interested in trying? Dude, I would love to try some North African meals, some Southern African meals, East Africa. I already got West Africa covered, but just to try out Senegalese jollof rice to see if they got it. Gambian too, I would like to try that. Guinea-Bissau does have some really good healthy meal options and I like to eat healthy, at least I like to stay healthy. So I think like I would like to try some Guinea-Bissauian Bissau Guinean meal. I will not want to try the bat stew from Sao Tome and Principe. You guys can keep that. I'm a little bit picky with food. However, I would like to try all African meals. Just don't tell me what you're serving me because that would kill the whole ordeal with me trying your food. You know what I mean? Question number six. Why didn't you profile Western Sahara? The people there consider themselves independent. This is a really good question actually. They're not recognized as an independent nation, you're still a part of Morocco. They speak Spanish, Morocco speaks French. So Western Sahara did get covered on the video on Morocco. And we have to rebrand ourselves now. We gotta be more 55. That's just an odd number. But keep fighting Western Sahara. Fight the good fight and one day you may become your own independent nation. Question number seven. Will Habiba or Michael be in more videos. If they're out for it, why not? And if not, you're stuck with me. <laughs> and that sums it up. Thank you for the journey. You guys gave me the drive and the push to keep going on and seeing all the subs and views come in lets me know that what we do here is important for the sake of Africa. Our next series is going to be covering hottest destinations in Africa and reasons why you should visit them. Also, we will continue with our AfriList series as well as Reaction Time Africa. So stay tuned. Don't forget to share this video and channel with your friends and family if you have enjoyed it and follow Boa on Facebook and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you love the content and I will see you in the next video.